Hello everyone. Welcome to a new episode of Phone Art Talk. I am Karthik, and today we are talking about a very interesting topic uh, that is about the Galaxy Note Seven. So, if you didn't know already, uh, the Samsung Galaxy Note Seven was launched uh, last month in the month of August, and since then. we have been hearing a lot of uh, reports and rumors and what not about the device exploding and then the company recalling the device and everything so this is basically just to give you a rundown of what what all happened with the device to start from the right initially from the rumors until the device was launched and after that what happened with all explosion stuff so we've actually uploaded an infographic image to the uh, on our website if you can check the links in the description to view that uh, the image and to view the detail uh, article on that so i'm just going to give you a quick rundown of what exactly happened from the start So, if you remember back in June twenty first, we first reported about the uh, the first one of the very first interesting news about the device, which was about the name change. The company decided to change the moniker from Note six to Note seven. Uh, this was basically uh, uh, done because of they wanted to stay on track with the name. That is, the, they launched the S series with S seven, and they wanted to keep in track, so they wanted the Note to come onto Note seven. So that's what they, that's why they were expected that. And then uh, later on in July second, uh, the first renders, the press renders for the image were leaked, and uh, that's how that's when we first got to uh, see the device for the first time, and it turned out pretty, uh, it pretty uh, good, and that that's what the image actually was. And then on July thirteen, uh, that was in the first time uh, the company actually uh, announced to uh, host an event, that is the unpacked event that they hosted in the, uh, New York, where they launched the uh, Note Seven phone. And it was on August second, uh, the company uh, actually launched the device, that is the Note Seven. smartphone it came with a quad hd display 5.7 inch display and all the all the specifications and everything that you pretty much know by this time and it was definitely a very good device i mean uh, at the time of the launch everyone was talking about the device and it was one of the best smartphone uh, that the company actually launched but unfortunately after that whatever happened uh, is what we're going to talk about right now and starting from august 3rd the device was actually avail- available for pre order in the us and just after one week after that that is on august 11th the device was officially launched in india for the price of 59900 and it came with the geo preview offer and uh, everything so that was that is when the device was first unveiled in india and it was expected to be available starting of september 2nd that is when the initially we came to know and after that august 19 uh, the device was actually uh, available to purchase in the us from the online and offline stores and starting on the 24th there is a 24th of august this is when the first incident of the note 7 explosion happened uh, that is when the first time we uh, saw something about the explosion of the device previously a lot of other smartphones were exploding like we had the mi 4 mi 5 everything was exploding and but on august 24th the first uh, note 7 uh, blast was reported in china so that was that was uh, that happened during the while the person was charging the device that is when the explosion happened so that time everyone thought that uh, there was some problem with the charger or something like that no one knew there was an issue with the battery so A lot of speculations were going on around that at that time, but just two days after that, uh, the uh, China officially uh, the, the phone was officially launched in China. That is before that it wasn't launched. Uh, that is uh, after two days the device was officially launched in China, and again there were a lot of reports that uh, the Chinese variant is going to come with six GB RAM and everything, but uh, that never happened. The device was uh, the device was actually launched with only four GB of RAM, so that was actually again surprising because we were expecting the six GB RAM variant there. and uh, just 4 to 5 days after that that is on august 30th uh, the uh, the second explosion was reported again uh, this was second explosion that was reported from the company's home country that is uh, south korea so the first uh, explosion happened in china and then the second one was in uh, south korea and just soon after that uh, on august 31st uh, the company's shipments were get started getting delay in south korea i mean the the device was supposed to be shipped uh, by this time but once the explosion started happening uh, the company start actually started taking step towards this and they wanted to analyze what was going wrong so they uh, actually started uh, delaying the shipments in south korea and later on eventually the de- uh, the shipments were delayed in other countries as well and on september 1st that is right after the the shipments were delayed in south korea uh, the uh, it was actually pretty interesting see, because the sales of this smartphone were uh, actually going on in china i mean they didn't stop the sales i mean the shipments were delayed in south korea but the sales were still continuing in china and the reason was pretty much uh, given by the company was uh, the batteries used in chinese variant that is a defective batteries that was causing the explosion uh, the batteries used in these chinese devices were from a different supplier so that is exactly what the reason that was given by the company so all the chinese variant if you are in china if you bo- purchase one of the note 7 then you don't have to worry about it because your device is having a battery that is supplied from a different supplier so your device is not going to explode that is what uh, we have till now and then uh, on, on september 2nd that is when the first time we heard the official statement from the company uh, that they are going to recall all the devices so 
till now whatever we heard whatever uh, news about the explosion was there it was all just rumors and we were just thinking about what the company is going to do and on september 2nd officially the company decided to recall all the devices so it was reported that around uh, 2.5 million units were sold by this time around the world so that uh, on september 2nd the company actually step for, uh, step to forward and then they decided to uh, recall all the devices and the sales were stopped everywhere else and uh, except for china i mean obviously china there was no problem with the issue so china the sales were going on but everywhere else the sales were stopped and on september 5th uh, we 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 started getting all the reports and everything of uh, what happened after this recall process and it was and it, it was stated that this, uh, this whole recall procedure that happened it costed the company about uh, 1 billion dollars that is actually a lot of money but again there's nothing can, that could that could have been done so it was actually pretty good move that the company took here by recalling the devices or else uh, nothing else would have been done and then on september 5th um one more explosion was reported that this time it was in australia so even after the recall even after the smartphone was recalled actually the pe- uh, people didn't actually uh, replace the device they didn't give the device back to the company so they continued to use the use the device and and what we uh, what what happened here is the device again started exploding i mean whoever they were using it the device was exploding here as well so on a fifth uh, and on 5th september uh, officially the second uh, the fifth explosion was reported that was in china after that uh, like i just mentioned uh, the com- the company officially recalled the devices but still some some people continued to use the device and the result was a number of multiple explosions that followed after that as well so recently we saw a couple of other explosions and everything and uh, just today we saw another explosion that was reported a 6 year old boy he was using the device and the, the device actually exploded in his hand so so just a couple of days after that the government decided to step in and uh, a couple of airlines they, uh, they they took a decision stating they they asked they started asking users not to use the device inside of an aircraft it actually makes sense a lot because uh, we don't know which device is explode is going to explode when so it is it's a pretty good thing to uh, take a precaution and not not use the device inside an aircraft so that was implemented in couple of, in a couple of air, australian airlines and soon after that the same was uh, indian government also stepped in and then they also uh, uh, started advising users to not to use the device inside an aircraft and something like that so couple of indian airlines also took this measure and they also uh, asked user to not to use the device which makes a lot of sense and then um, moving on to that now uh, as far as the status currently of the recall procedure is concerned if you have a note 7 device and if you are given it for replacement then uh, the company is actually issuing one of the galaxy j series smartphone as a loaner so until you get the new note 7 device that is expected to come somewhere around in the month in the month end that is september end until then you'll be given a galaxy j series smartphone as a loaner so which you'll be able to use it till then once the once the device actually is replaced you'll have to give this device back and then you'll get the new note 7 so that is what the current status is as of now so that is what that's where we are right now and uh, and as of today we are we have another report stating that the whole uh, this whole fiasco that is that has been going on around samsung that is the whole note 7 recall and everything this entire thing has uh, actually got down the brand's evaluation uh, to about up, up to about 14.3 billions that is actually a lot of money so uh, i mean obviously again we can't do anything about it due to the whole fiasco i mean we've been starting to hear this about it's been about a month and they have sold so many units now and then after all of a sudden after a month they had to recall all this so this whole thing they cost a lot of money to them and which eventually brought down their company's brand value as well so that's what happening around so as of now this is the news that we have currently to report about the note 7 and uh, just just one quick advice to you if you are using one of the note 7 devices that you purchased earlier it is advised to you that you quickly go and replace the device and not use the device because we don't know which device is going to explode when Yes, I mean obviously there are only limited cases. Like only thirty-five to forty cases have been spotted till now, and they have sold over million devices. So it's pretty rare that your device will explode, but you never know when when what is going to happen. So it is advised that you quickly go and replace your device and wait for the new replacements to come in, or you can probably go give it give device back and purchase something else. So that is an option that is available to you right now. So if you own one of the smartphones, if you haven't replaced it, then you should quickly go and do that first. So. that's pretty much what we have right now to talk about the note 7 so if you didn't know anything what happened to this so this video would probably help you if you did share this to your friends as well so if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and stay subscribe for more videos like this i am karthik and i hope to see you in the next video thank you